Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to Nobre Player. I'm Ilona and today we are playing a lake. And we are already starting a new day. So uh, I will say let's uh, let's go and do it. Can we go inside the post office? I don't think I checked that. So we definitely can. Anything here? No. Can we interact with anything? Look at those postcards. They're all so pretty. And the picture. Oh, sit on a bench. Can we sit just here <laughs> till the evening? It's okay, we're just chilling. I saw Frank over here, didn't I? Oh yeah, what's up Frank? Hope you're enjoying the job as much as your dad did. Very much, thank you for, uh, for asking. There's a statue of the deer. Pretty cool. So that's where we work. Where we are not in a truck, I guess. Okay, but uh, let's today begin. Because people are waiting for the mail. And we are slacking. Good morning, P.O. It's time for a P.O. Positive or Pet Pee. Okay, folks. Let's see what it is today. Okay, so where we go? Is that? That's the store. Oh, pick up the Mortimer. Very nice, very nice. What's... Oh, it's a farm. Okay, okay, okay. So we have some stuff. Hey, the floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. I've got a pet uh, Returned videos that have not been rewinded. I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. Thanks. Duly noted, Angie. And now, on to today's weather. We can enjoy the sun in the morning, but the clouds will cover it more and more. Enough talking. Here are some tunes. Oh, we're going to Angie. To the Flick Shack. Okay. She was just in the radio. How cool is that? Okay, so main street. Okay, we have only one, so it has to be this one. And we can tell her all uh, about the movie, like what we thought about it, right? I hope, because we watched that. Hello, I have your package. Oh, hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You watched it already? A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. Well, it's a great movie. Come on. It's funny. And there was like so many of them. And of course the first one was the best. But the rest were pretty good too. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a fan. I used to watch it with uh, my parents and my brother. It was, it was good times. <laughs> You're selling them short. Maybe. Just wish I wasn't the only movie buff around. You seem to enjoy being the expert, though. Are you saying I feel superior to these rubes? Because... <laughs> I guess I do a little. You know, it's good to see you. That's nice to hear. Because... I have a sneaky little plan. Oh... A plan, she says. Oh, we're whispering now? 
I want you to meet me, say, at, at five today. Mm, we're not gonna assume she already asked us for a date. That's the second time we see her, right? Or does she? Mm, no. Is that the plan? No, but it's where I'll discuss the plan. You in? Okay, all right. Not? I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place. It's 102 New Street, right? Are you some kind of stalker? Yes. How did you find that out? Looked up your last name in the Rolodex. Your parents are regular clients. Oh, sure. Well, it's settled then. See you at five, partner. Partner? Are you getting into business with her? I feel like this has to... Uh, be something with uh, us, Dali... Uh-oh. Delivering the mail, and I feel like we just... <laughs> A little blocked. <laughs> the street, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, peeps. That was very important. You guys can uh, just learn how to drive around me. <gasps> you just don't have to like sit there. But okay, it's, uh, it's their Ooh, choice, right? Interesting. I wish we could interact with the... I'll have to like be at the door to get in. Okay, where to now? So, okay. Seems like we have to turn around. Oh wait, no, there's... Oh no, no, here, here. The end of the street, there is a letter. Blue house? No, this house. The brown house. Okay, now I have to get out of here. So, let's turn around without uh, making too much damage to the surroundings. Oops, wrong, 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 wrong way. There we go. That wasn't that bad. Maybe by the time we uh, finish this game, I will be a pro driver. But probably not. But uh, worth uh, to try. Sweet. We are doing it. Okay, so which house? This one? It feels like it's uh, this. so chill I'm really enjoying just driving around and doing the mails and just have that uh, little story here it's pretty pretty sweet deal I hope you guys enjoying it too something different than usual what we have on the channel not uh, much of a farming here but you they can always add a DLC, right? That she will be a farmer after being the male woman. Could have happened, who knows? Okay, so Okay, we have one. I can go nope, nope, never mind. <laughs> I wanted to turn there. No, but it was a little too late. I may want to slow down on a turn. 
Okay, like turning on the last uh, last second, it's not the greatest idea. But we managed to get here, no problem. No harm, no fall. Letter. Okay, a lot of letters today. Lots of letters. Why am I close, please? That's not what I wanted. That was a mistake. I just want to get in to the track. Okay, so now... Oh, I miss a package over here. Is anything? Okay, so something here. Oh, is that where the lumberjack lives? Okay, so we can... We can just go this way, right? And we get to the other package later on the one that we missed it's okay not a not a problem right just taking a detour over here oh that's where i got stuck last time not this time see i'm getting better i'm getting better not stacking it uh, at fences yet <laughs> the day's not over Whoa! It's a person there. Just chilling. Like, excuse you, I, um, I could have. No, I didn't, and, but I could have just drive you over and nobody would even notice. I think that was here. Oh, mm, we're still driving. Everything is fine. Oh, bunny! Am I stuck? Hello? Ah, <gasps> no way. Uh oh, <laughs> I can't go anywhere. Okay, I'm stuck. Uh, reset my car, please. Oh, thank you. Okay, that was perfect. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Uh, Robert, Robert, I have mail for you. Well, hopefully it'll be something good, because he has an axe. And last time it wasn't There's good. There's a face I remember. Oh, I'm glad you do. Well, um... Seen me before, so... Should we be official? Or be friendly? Let's be official. Good morning, Mr. Harris. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Eh, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets worse every day. More bullcrap? Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lakeside for years. And now they're gonna bulldoze it and build apartments. What? No, we can't have this. That's bullcrap. It's so pretty here. They're not gonna do it, right? We will not let them. Yes. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss. Ah, so you're the prodigy he's always talking about. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down town hall. Nothing a chainsaw can't handle. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well... <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Just like, yeah, deal with it. No, we can help. Maybe I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. You will think about it? Dude, I'm offering you a help and you're just gonna think about it? You definitely need help, so... Good day, Good day Mr. Harris. Mr. Harris. <laughs> hey, wait up. I'm done thinking about it. Oh, oh, wow. Maybe you'd want to go through all the files together? Tomorrow afternoon? At Moe's? Food and drinks on me. Mm, sure. Who can say no to food and drinks at Moe's? Awesome. I'll see you there then. 
I'll bring all the paperwork. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, we're taking all of the side quests, I believe. Okay, uh, maybe he's gonna be be our lover. He seems single. We helping him out. It's possible. I don't know. I don't know though, but could work, right? I can drive. Am I stuck again? No. Okay. I'm good. I'm a professional at this. And now. Okay. So. Maybe. I don't want to have to go like the whole way around. Let's do a teleport here. Let's see how that works. We didn't do that yet, so might as well. Okay, perfect. So we are on a main street. So let's go around over here, deliver that package. And it's on the other side. Mm, I think it's the other blue house. Okay, it has to be here. Okay, uh, 102. Perfect. What's, uh, what's inside? Anyone home though? Nope. No answer. Mm. Too bad. Okay, and now this way. I think that's the diner where we're going next. I think. Oh, it's a fox! Oh my gosh! It's a fox! How cute! I love the wildlife. We already seen a bunny and a... And uh, and the fox now. I wonder what's next. What are the deers? Like the 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 town statue is a it's a deer. Oh wait a minute. We don't have nothing here. We're just picking up the the kitty. My bad. All oh, right. And then we have to drop the kitty off. Okay. So pick up the kitty. Deliver last package and then the, deliver the, the kitty. This, this view, <laughs> this view is amazing. So pretty, picture perfect. Is he here? Oh yay! What's up? Hi there, Mr. Mackey. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. A good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Nice. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. <coughs> Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? Hmm... I'm having fun. I'm having fun, yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day. Okay. I think I would I would move here like in a heartbeat. Uh, minus the fish, of course. And those are some weird looking fish. Okay, wait. They look so much flatter when I was walking towards them, but they have some depth into them. But like here, they look so flat. Some flat fish you have here. Oh, it's a, it's a starfish. Nice. I like the place that Robert lives. It's cozy, but I think I would 
want to live here instead. Or maybe both. Why not both? Can't afford both, right? She works with computers. <laughs> like waking up to this view. Come on, you guys. Which place uh, would you guys choose? The one uh, secluded in the forest? Or the one on the lake? I'm curious. Okay, Mortimer. I have to put you in the back because we still have to, to deliver the package. And actually, uh, I put you in the back, but you're on the front. How that works. It's a magic. It's magic. Okay, and let's go to our last destination. Almost, almost, almost last. We keep forgetting of the cat. It's okay, kitty. We will take you home where you belong. Don't worry. Yikes! Oh, that was close. Almost crashed, but didn't. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay, stay there, Mortimer. I will not be long. Oh, maybe we'll get our uh, blueberry pie this time, huh? That would be cool. Hi, Maureen. Hi, hon. How are you doing this fine day? I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Doesn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie? Yes. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. <gasps> How's life treating you, darling? Well, being back feels a bit strange. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yeah, she told me. How did that go for you? Mm, it was a bit weird one. seeing her again. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in. For the both of you, especially after being away for so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? You being one of them. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment. But I bet the diner looks a bit strange to you, doesn't it? Um... Just it us. looks so different from how I remember it. Yeah, I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? What? Oh my gosh, Maureen. Stan died? I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been ten years already. Ten and a half, almost. Oh, boy, did I love that man. Oh, we've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. Sounds like you went through a lot. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did. For me, but also for Kay. <sighs> she took her uncle's death pretty hard. Like, wait a minute. Like, our parents live here their, their entire time whenever we was gone. Like, they, they didn't tell her? Like, what? Why? Like, why did it be something that sh they just didn't mention since we were hanging out here and being best friend with Kay? It's kind of weird. I wish I'd known. S sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. 
Gosh, look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm just asking. Oh, you would forget. No. I don't want to say they did. It sounds like they did. Uh, now I'm. I don't know. Like, you can't be involved like in work so much that you would not remember. They might have. But I've been so involved in work. Uh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. Uh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. It was good to see her again. I've missed her too. Then, it sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. <laughs> Says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. What the? Ashley? What happened to that pie? I'm so <laughs> sorry, honey. I oh, swear never heard that, that pie. kid. <laughs> it's okay, Maureen. I have a feeling I'll be back soon anyway. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. I really want this boy. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Oh, hello, you guys. Coffee time. That's cool. Some nice art. I wonder who are those people? Just like random. Oh, there's the arcade machine. Ghost blasters. <laughs> can we? Oh my god, we can play the game. I don't know uh, if that's a good idea. Move around. Shoot. Oh my god. This is. Okay, this is gonna be short one. Hey, oh my god, I'm so bad at this already. <laughs> oh, this is. Spooky. No, I got. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, it's touching me. Oh, no. Why? Did I die? I might have died. Okay. Oh, I shoot two in one. One in shot. Oh my god, I'm so cool. I'm so good, you guys. Yikes. Um, maybe shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh my god, next wave. It's already better than last time. Oh, it's not. Yikes, they are faster. Attached! Oh my god, they're touching me. They're touching me! Oh no. Okay. I think that's as good I can I can do. <laughs> well, that was cute. We were uh, definitely blasting those ghosts. You saw that, sir? You saw it? I did so good. I lasted one wave. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here because poor Mortimer is waiting. 
Okay, so which way we go? Okay. Can I just... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go around. Okay, our last stop, uh, Mrs. Jenkins. are actually uh, pretty good <laughs> pretty good songs okay we are here oh, she's waiting she like she knew here Mortimer is all good look who's back Mortimer oh look at you you're good as new yeah Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes hmm I suppose he's right. It's it's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. Mm, seems like we are friends now. Oh my good achievement, a cat lover. Nice. Nope, get back in the truck. Thank you, and... Let's, I feel like I uh, could just... Uh, pass travel here, because the video is getting a little uh, too too long. A little longer than I wanted, and uh, this car is just... <laughs> I like popped in in front of him, and he's probably like, what the heck? just happened like am i dreaming okay the work day is done just uh park somewhere there perfect end the day and then now Oh, we have to meet up no, with um, angie, angie eastman yeah. you <laughs> can't really create a woman with a computer what movie is that it's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you, with your computer background... All right, I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python... <laughs> Brian. Brian. Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> you know... You don't really look the part of a computer nerd, either. Well, I'm off duty. For a while. Good for you. So, any particular reason you're not at the nerd factory anymore? Nerd factory? <laughs> what? Let's just say I needed a change of scenery. Okay, well... I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Then, yeah. Providence Oaks is pretty different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter, for one thing. Slower, for another. They both are wearing really nice sweaters. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, those are the two things I like best about it. Me too. 
I think. It took some getting used to. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean for free? Yeah. You know the town. You're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look, it's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. I had a feeling that you were just uh, going to be using this in our uh, mail truck. Mail truck. Well, I guess a mail. Mail? Mail. Mail. Mail truck. <laughs> Um. Wow, this is the future of entertainment. I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. Pretty simple. I think we can do it. That's a good question. Can I do it? Like... Not just for me, me, just like as a, I'm working. Can I do something like that at work? Just stop here and there and deliver some movies? Okay, what? but what's the revenue model here? Oh, you! Not everything is about money. It's about promoting the store. Which I guess is ultimately about money. Here, I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? The mechanic girl at the gas station, right? Yes, good. I have these two for her. The love bug and a nightmare on Elm Street. This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not exactly. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's it for now. If you're in, that is. So, you in? Well, I guess we are in. All right. One These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Now, do you have any more of this babe? great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? What? <laughs> I left the store unattended. Better get back. What? Oh, no. Like, what? <laughs> First she calls babe, then she's like, do you have a coffee? Oh wait, I can't have a coffee because uh, I actually um, left the store open, unattended, what? Um. Yeah, but I understand. Talk to you soon? Absolutely. Business partner. Bye, babe. Babe? <laughs> Since when we are babes? Oh, maybe we'll find out uh, in the next episode. Nope, not yet. <laughs> Mom is calling, or Steve. Hello? Hey, Meredith. Hey, Dad. Dad! How's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to Mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Uh, Frank's quite the character indeed. He said you helped him out once. Uh, more than once. Well, what can I say? He likes baseball a bit too much. He places a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. And what about Mildred Jenkins? Mildred likes to talk a lot. I sometimes postpone delivering her mail until she and her cats can't ambush me. Speaking of <laughs> ambushes, your mom is telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, Stand By Me. About four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. Bye, Dad. 
Maybe we'll have to postpone our delivery to Mildred too. Uh, let's do some work since we have the stuff. All right, here we go. Okay, it's Friday and it's raining, but we will enjoy this beautiful rain in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.